Until yesterday, we covered some of the aspects in IDGC and all. So, did I explain about the syllabus, what we are going to cover? No, right? So, in this demo, I will say the syllabus, what I will cover. And I will say the auditor's opinions. And I will finish the demo today. So, till now, do you guys having any doubts? No, sir. In the last two classes. Or everything is clear. It's clear, sir. In the last two classes, whatever we have. Guys, I, I, I want responses from all the people, not only one or two. Uh, and this today is the last uh, free demo. So Monday onwards we start the batch. So after this uh, class, whoever are interested, please contact me and clear all your doubts in this class. Thank you. So, I explained about SOC 1, SOC 2, and SOCs. What is SOC 1? So, SOC 1 is all about financial audit report, and SOC 2 is all about ID audit report other than all financial will come under this SOC 2 audit report. So the end itself too. So I clearly mentioned how we will audit this SOC 2. How we'll do this? We'll get the control list. And we will collect the evidence. After collecting the evidence, we will validate whether the evidences are exactly matching for the control. Whether it's satisfying or not, we will see. So, according to the audit and the evidences, what we collected as an auditor, we will give our opinion on the audit. So, there are majorly four opinions which was given, which were given by the manager. Sorry, which are given by the auditor. Those opinions are 
one is qualified opinion second one is unqualified opinion third one is adverse opinion fourth one is disclaimer opinion okay so if at all if at all there are any wrongs in the accounting language we'll call any mistakes or flaws as gaps or findings so in the audit if the auditor found any minor gaps very minor gaps that means minor mistakes in the process minor mistakes then the auditor will give qualified opinion then the auditor will give qualified opinion got it qualified opinion so if there are no mistakes if there are no no mistakes and no findings no gaps are noted then he will give unqualified opinion what he will give unqualified opinion so if there are major gaps or major mistakes are noted in audit then auditor will give adverse opinion Auditor will give adverse opinion. Any doubt still now? Can you say once again? I can't able to hear you guys. Uh, can you say once again this? Huh? Officer Malli check for that. Aye. 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 అర్థం <laughs>
list of controls mean if you order the list of controls e what is this controls process controls or project controls you ordered these controls okay in your audit if at all let's say there is a new hire process control one is onboarding control two is signing the offer letter control 3 is signature on non disclosure agreements these three are the controls for new hires onboarding process okay let's say we are auditing this as an it auditor we are auditing this process so we will take the audit periodicity whether we are doing audit for 3 months or 4 months or 6 months or 8 months or 1 year let's say audit periodicity is 3 months then then we need to decide we need to take all new hires list all new hires who joined in last 3 months joining last 3 months so let's say 30 people joined in last 3 months 30 we will check we will take one person and we will check let's say in the among the 30 persons we took the first number first number and we will see whether his onboarding is done or not he signed the offer letter or not he signed the nda form or not okay here if if we found we found there is nothing everything is done as per the process if if the auditor saw no flaws or no findings in the audit then the auditor will give unqualified opinion okay if he onboarded he signed non disclosure forms which is very important but he forgot to sign the offer letter just he forgot to sign the offer letter in the last page so it's a minor gap so because it's a minor mistake we will call will give a qualified opinion okay guys if anybody ask the doubt i want response from him the person who asked the doubt i want him to respond do you understood yeah 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 okay so if in this process in this audit there is no there is just onboarding was done there is no signature of non disclosure there is no signing of the offer letter nothing has happened so it's a major mistake just we onboarded him and we given the assets and each and everything but we didn't given him the chance to signature to sign on nda and offer letter as well just we onboard so it's a major mistake that's why we will give adverse opinion so one auditor one auditor decided to give decided 
to give adverse opinion. Okay, he decided to give adverse opinion, but the organization, it's it will happen purely in external audit. When external auditor came to an organization and he audited, he wanted to give adverse opinion to that organization, but the organization board of directors and the organization people, they are continuously asking the auditor to give unqualified opinion. Don't give adverse opinion. In that case, auditor, auditor resigns from audit. Resigns from audit. From that particular audit. Then that opinion will be considered as disclaimer opinion. Understood? Uh, no, sir. So you just come again once more the adverse in the disclaimer. Either I didn't got you. Can you come back? Uh, so, sir, what the difference in adverse and disclaimer? Because I don't understand it. If we quit. What I said. Yes, yes. I said clearly what's the difference now itself. Can you please explain me what I said? So since then adverse is giving that um whatever process is audited is not up to the mark and there are a lot of gaps. Okay. So then what is disclaimer? So then the company is forcing him to give an unqualified, then the auditor will resign from the audit. Means that's the difference, no? It's clearly so visible, no? Resign Matlab, he will stop the audit and he will he will resign from the audit. He will say to that company, he will say to his company, they are forcing me. So I can't be able to do this audit anymore for that company. So I'm giving the disclaimer opinion. Okay, got it, sir. Yeah. Any doubts, guys? Team, any doubts? Okay. I'll take your silence as I know. So, lastly, the course content. First, control testing. Change management. Incident management, vulnerability management, access management, risk management, ITAC, ISO. GDPR and some portions in cloud security. After that, resume prep. And finally, mocks. This is the agenda.
So, yes, yes, Raghu. In short, to report itself. Anywhere the audit goes, I said about the SOC 2, in SOC 1, in SOCs as well, anywhere you go, the auditing opinion will be the same. If you found some gaps, you will give minor, for minor gaps, you will give qualified. For major gaps, you will give adverse. For no gaps, you will give unqualified. If at all you decided to give the adverse opinion, but the organization is forcing you to give unqualified, then you give this, you will audit, you will resent on the audit and you will give disclaimer. Any, whether it's SOX, whether it's uh, ITGC, whether it's uh, SOC 2, whether it's SOC 1, anything. Yep. So as guys, mic is open. You can ask any doubts. Uh, so sir, I think we have. I just want to reconfirm one thing. Like during this course or the training, like we'll get a chance to see the practical, right? How the exact in the real life the ID auditors work. Like what kind of request you will get, and how need to perform, and how to evaluate a checklist, and how he's giving his opinion on each and everything, all the controls. So these are the controls. For change management, not for change management. For all the things, we'll explain like this. What's the real time scenarios? Not real time scenarios, the audit, what I will do, I'll show it like this. Okay, thank you. Yes. So, oh, sorry, course content, oh, sorry, screen show picture. In seven, in a month? Oh, sorry, course content, uh, list, uh, sir, kada. Oh. control testing, uh, change management, uh, oh, sorry, screen show picture. Sixth or sixth one, fourth one, and vulnerable. Kata vulnerability risk management.
if I complete the course. See, uh, all the things, work support, everything, it, it, it not be discussed in this call. So for those things, kindly contact Mohan Garu. He'll take me in the conference and we'll discuss in that call. Okay, Raghu. The timings are put in change. Timings, once batch fix it, we'll discuss it with Mohan. So, under the feasible time, it's not an issue. Hmm. And the person who is in the room, 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 so, if you join in, you can fix the batch volume. Okay, okay. 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 Just for suppose. Okay. 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 Based on the batch volume and the batch requirement. That's it. Subject. Okay. Starting and are we going to get any handbooks or something like a theory books so that we can refer it? We can able to give the material. Okay. We'll provide the material. Any other questions? Oh, let's wind up this call. Okay then, chill out. Uh, the day three demo is also over. So from Monday, we'll having classes. So if at all you want to join, call to Mohan and he'll guide you. So join from Monday. So what I want to say is, this is not a stop what, mm. like let's say, we can't able to learn this. We can't able to like you know. It's not. It's not that like uh, development or DevOps or cloud engineering like that. It will be. It's more than a job role. I can, if at all you join here or if at all you join in other, other centers. I'm not speaking in the, in that spectrum. If you don't need to speak in broader spectrum, it's more than a job, it's a career. So while you're choosing your career, you need to choose the, while you want to travel in a path, the person need to be, person who is teaching you, need to teach in such a way, what he need to do, has his roles and responsibilities inside the organization. So the whole teaching here will do that, we'll do, we'll do like that. If you like my demo and if you got the confidence, then join. Okay. All the best, guys. All the best for future endeavors to each and every one. Great day.